Good morning, judges and also audience. My name is Abib Nur Julian, and now I'm going to present our project, that is my partner and I's project, entitled Ocean Waves Energy to Generate Electrical Power in a Night on the Steep Leaf Coast. First of all, let me tell you first about the background of this results. Well, I'm gonna tell you about a short story. Actually, I love traveling, and one of my favorite places is beach. I love the situation, also the seawater, and when I'm on the beach, I used to play with the ocean waves, and when I come to senior high school, I realized that these ocean waves has big potential energy that can be used by us. And the second is, sometimes, on the same beach, I also found this kind of thing. It is what we call steep cliff. Usually, in Indonesia, this kind of cliff is used as a tourism object because, because it has beautiful scenery. But what happened to the other one? I mean, with the other steep cliff that do not have beautiful scenery. Well, at last, this kind of steep cliff will be wasted. So my partners and I have an idea about using these two resources into something. That the first is, we want to change the energy from the ocean waves into electricity, and later we want to make the power plant. And, um, what is, I mean, we want to make the stick lift as a medium for our power plant. And in this result, we got a problem that is about how to make a power plant by utilizing ocean wave energy and to place it at stick lift in Indonesia. And the purpose related to the problem statement is to make a power plant utilizing ocean wave energy. In this result, we use some theories that the first is the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. And the second theory is the theory of ocean waves energy and also the theory of electrical power. In this result, we use some methods that the first is we create the prototype. After we finish creating prototype, we bring and test our prototype at sea to prove that the prototype can produce electricity. And the third is, we got the result that is how much electrical voltage and electrical current. And this is the picture of our prototype. As you can see, there is an NDMU magnet that attached to a plate. And this is the coil and also the voltmeter to measure how much electrical current and voltage that we can get. Now let's move to the cylinder method. First, we bring and test our prototype at sea. And then, the plate will capture ocean wave and the magnet attached to it will move inside the coil and chains of magnetic flux will produce electricity in the form of DGL. <coughs> and this is the picture, I mean the design that we want to make on that cliff. Well, this is our prototype and here we use a whale and why we use a whale? Because actually by using this whale we can adjust the height of this power plant of this power prototype equals with the height of the ocean waves so it will make this plate will catch your ocean wave effectively. And to prove our hypothesis, we also did an experiment in Tola our beach in central Java, especially in the north coast of Java. And this is the picture when my friends and I take some data from it. And I'm also going to show you a short video about how, we, how can we get the data. As you can see, when the ocean waves come, the wave will be captured by this plate, and the magnet attached to it will move inside the coil and also change the flux inside it, and will produce electricity in the form of electrical voltage that can be measured by this voltmeter. Now let's move to result and discussion section. Well, here, First of all, my friends and I take two data from it, that is how much electrical voltage and how much electrical current. And from these two data, we can also get how much electrical power. But yesterday, I realized something that my methods to find the electrical current is totally wrong. So I divided the two columns, and here I present you the voltage that you can get by variating the terms of the coil. Maybe some of you wonder how or why I varied the terms of the coil. Well, here we did it because we want to prove that this term, the variating terms of the coil, can also increase the electrical voltage. And the reason why we choose to change the terms of the coil instead of the magnetic field of the sectional area is because it is easier than we change the, the other two parameters. And this is the graph that shows the relations between the terms of the coil and also the voltage. 
Well, it is increasing, and that means also it can be increased the electrical power too. And the first is, the result gain is by using a microscale prototype. We are just using one cell prototype. And the second, the change of terms of the coil can also increase the electrical power. And here, the I present you is increasing the electrical voltage, but it is related to electrical power also. And the third is, the result also depends on the condition of the pits. Well, as I said, the condition of the pits uh, in the north coast of Java is relatively, uh, the wave is relatively small if we compare to the southern coast of Java. So, um, in addition, if we did it, I mean, if we have been proof that the prototype can be used to change the um, ocean with energy into electricity, we want to place this prototype at steep cliff so we can prove that steep cliff can be used as something and it won't be useless anymore. So from my research, we can conclude that the steep cliff can be used as a medium to generate electrical power by utilizing ocean wave energy using our prototype. So linking back to our background, from the ocean wave energy, we can change it or we can convert it into electricity by using the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and after that, we can place the power plant as steep cliff in Indonesia, especially in our island in Indonesia. Well, it's not a secret anymore that the supply of electricity in other islands in Indonesia, especially such as Florence or the other islands that faces directly to the ocean, is not really good as the main island in Indonesia. So, this power plant can be alternative ways to solve this problem. And also, we have recommendations that, of course, the steep lift in Indonesia should be used as a medium to generate electrical power by utilizing ocean wave energy. And the second is, our prototype should be developed into a micro scale one so it can be applied in real life. And at last, we want to do something again to, prove, uh, to improve the results that the first we want to isolate the system so we can avoid the salinity or the corrosive effect from the seawater. And the second is, we want to combine with the other power plants such as the solar cell or micro hydro turbine. And also, we want, to we want to do another experiment at the southern coast of Java, and we want to compare it with the north coast of Java. But at last, let's prevent the ocean waves and brighten up Indonesia. Thank you. Indeed.